and welcome to Pink Poodle 2. I am Pink Poodle. I'm afraid Maisie's in the other room along with Priscilla and Belinda and everyone else and Dora's picture. I'm in my bedroom today because it was the easiest place to make this video because um, it just was because um, Holly's roaming about and Billy's on one so I thought I'd make this video today to try and help anybody who is struggling with some of the stuff that we are having to cope with and not a lot of people know about things like this and I just thought this would be a helpful video. Um, so what we're going to be talking about today is your dog's incontinence. Now I've had three poodles now that have incontinence. I had my mum's dog who we took over when she passed away, Lily and she had a bad heart and she ended up being incontinent and we put nappies on her and then we had it with Dora because she had bladder cancer and I didn't think I was going to get it with Billy but I've gone and got it with Billy because of the tablets he takes because he's got heart failure so I want to show you that just because your dog is incontinent don't mean to say it's time to say goodbye to them you know you can, Billy's still got a you know a fairly good life he, he does you know he does his he's still his own thing he doesn't eat as much and that but he still barks he still tries to get the cat so he's like you know so so the type of nappies that you can get is if it's a female nappy um uh dog it's kind of easier in a way and it works out cheaper for a female dog because you can get an ordinary nappy that is a child's one um which is probably around about size depending on the size of your dog really but like we used to have to get size two size three for dora and what we used to do is put a hole in it so a towel would be able to go through and then we used to we bought the top nap now this is what we call it the top nap and these are also okay if your dog is in season as well to use this or if you're going on a long journey you can use it this is actually one of dora's that we've kept, we keep it in like a thing with a picture. So I just wanted to show you it. And it it helps like if they're on a journey and they've got, you know, a long journey and they might wean themselves or whatever. And it, if they're on season or whatever, so you kind of like, so you put you put pads or whatever in, but we used to put the top nappy in the nappy, we put the hole through. And then we used to put this on top so that you've got the, the hole for their tail. And these little bits around here. Because, I mean, you could just use this with, like, a tail. Like a, a normal sandry tail or something. If that suffice is what you would need it for. But we needed something more substantial because Dora couldn't control herself in the end either way. So we needed something that we could use and, you know, get it off cleaner and stuff. So this is the one. And this is in size small. These go up to extra large, I believe. And um, I'm really no good at linking things. I will try, but you can get these on Amazon and they cost about £15, £16 for free. It might even be a bit more now because it's been a while since um, Dora passed away. It's three years in June, so yeah. Um, so there's that. So that's the female one. So don't forget, you get an ordinary nappy that belongs to a child. And then you put the hole in, make sure the hole, well, this is what we did, make sure the towel went through the hole and this hole, and then she's more secure. Now, with the boys, I don't know where he's gone because he doesn't want to be assistant for me today. It's a little bit different. I thought, oh, that's all right. We've got that. We'll be able to do it. Mm -mm. No, because they wee, their area of the way they go wee, is not down here whereas if you've got the girl one it would be covered by here by the girl one no 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 the boys one's up here so we have to think oh we've got to go through this what we're going to do whatever so what we got was these are the top naps now these look like these are actually too big for him now because he's lost more weight. These are size small and these go up to extra large as well. Now these go around the middle. Again, these are used if you're travelling. You can use it and you don't want them to wee on anything. They are padded and it will catch some of the wee. But 
we end up ultimately every time we change him wash him one out and put it out to dry and so he's got nine of these so i you know if he goes through about six in a day we've still got one to put on him and then we wash it out make sure it's all clean and pull it out to dry so these go around the middle which i will get my teddy bear marie to um i call it marie because my neighbor gave me some valentine's day and the name's marie so it goes around the front where their willy is or their penis willy. yeah it's a pe i don't know what you want to call it the dog's willy um goes so that it it kind of like when they wee it'll go in that bit there ultimately billy keeps escaping that and actually does it on the oh, and does it outside the nap so what we did we thought well we wanted to put something that was more secure there so i bought these nappies and these you can get on amazon as well you get them on amazon too but these ones are boy nappies and you put them around his you you have to measure them and then you work out which one you want i did get small originally but unfortunately he has lost so much weight now that you can literally get that round him twice so lucky we had this so you put this on you don't have to but we put this on and when it when it's weed the lines are yellow at the moment they show up blue so you know that's you know time to change him and he gets changed as i say six or seven times a day depending on how much he weighs and the, the knack is is to make sure that he's he's really is sort of in between these two cuffs because if it isn't it will come out either end and then get this wet which is always like your little safeguard so then that's what we do is that so billy has this around him all the time now you've seen it in the videos i've shown you i don't know where he is let me see if i can catch him Hold i on. did catch him well i didn't catch him he was just laying there he, he probably knows and you know the the, the the amazing thing is, is he actually knows he has to have this done now and he doesn't have any resistance for it and he does it. So as you can see, Billy has got one of the space ones on and oh god and it's getting stuck on me and it goes round where he's really is here and any wee gets caught underneath. I'm sure that he probably needs to have a change, I don't know. Okay, I'll just put another one on him. You can get it off at least. So they're quite secure. They're quite secure. Let's have a look. Let's see. Are you blue or are you green? No, you're still. He's still yellow. I'd like to see. If you can see, he's still yellow. Oh no, he's a bit blue on you. Are you blue or yellow? No, he's yellow. That's just the um. I think he's yellow or blue. I don't know. No, he's blue. No, he's definitely blue. So what we do then? We'll take this off and we'll give him a little wash and oh yeah he's definitely blue <laughs> yeah so it catches in here as you can see and it is blue but it starts off yellow and that's got his like his wee and then we discard that in a nappy sack and so we put so he i'm afraid that where he's got his naps on now all the time his fur has changed a different color we're going to speak to the the um vet about that but we give them white which i'm going to do now if i can find the wipes wipe and wipe you boy and yeah so so we, we always clean him because you don't want any like um thingy on him because you know that's not nice that's it just a quick he's not much we on that one anyway so and then we i scarred that we normally actually wash bath him in the, in the bathroom. We've got a special um, sponge that we use for him and we give him a clean that way, but because we're up here. So, to put one on, like I said, where is it? Where is it? Where's that one gone? So I just had it and I don't know where it's gone. Where's the clean one, Bill? Just had it in my hand. Oh, it's in it. It's in this, isn't it? That's why. Right, so we take this out. I'm, I'm going to show you what we do. Right, so we take this out. Don't forget, this one is self-sticking as well. So we've got this one is in size small, and then we went down the size to extra small, which you can see. 
these ones for some reason keep having the um, sticky bit come off but she doesn't bother us so much because we put the um, thingy on no, no, no. this is the right way or not so this is the small one this is the extra small versus the small and you can see how different the size is so for our purposes we're going to put on the extra small so i generally will get him to put his paws up on something and then you just maneuver it to where his his um willy is or penis whatever you want. i don't know what people call it on willy is it, you know where his where his outlet is that's easier and so it looks like that and then we always put the top nap over it don't we bill and he's very very good at withstanding all this messing about now because he understands that um it needs to be done for him so then he looks like so and he's where he would go we he's all covered up isn't it bill so but you don't mind, do you? You you don't think it's a bit of an inconvenience sometimes for you, does it? But you you just don't want to be ill, do you? You just don't want to be whatever. I've got to shave his face again to get his face shaved. But um, yeah. So we, I mean, it's it it's not an inconvenience so much, you know. You you find ways, and the only other way we do as well is these are from sorry, Billy, from B and M. Yeah, no home bargains. And these are the um, incontinence pads in Maxi. And these fit really nicely in the pouch. And you can put that on him. And we tend to put them on at night because we find at night that works better for us. Whereas in the day... We can, because in the night you're asleep for a long time. And if I wake up to go to the toilet myself, I check him and take him down to go to the toilet. Because he does go outside to go to the toilet as well. He doesn't not go out and, in, and he goes for walks still. But like the majority of the time he's got a nap on indoors. Because like he, he doesn't like the feeling of wet in it. He gets really upset. Laura, Laura used to as well. So we um. So that's what we do, isn't it, Bill? And, you know, it, it is, like I say, people might find it an inconvenience, but we love him. There's no, You know, he, are you going to put your nan down or your granddad down just because he, they wet themselves now? When you're old, this happens to humans as well as animals, you know? And he's on he's on water tablets, and the water tablets make him go away. And, like, rather than have we everywhere constantly, and, like, you know, the occasional bit gets on the floor, we wash it, straight away it gets on the bed clothes we wash them straight away downstairs wash it you know it it goes with the territory we love him and like we're willing to put up with this while he's still himself you know he's still being billy and we're grateful for that and i don't you know i know that there's lots of people might not want to do this but there's lots of people that might want to know about it because these are also like the practical for like long journeys and stuff like that and, you know, at the end of the day, I, we nursed Dora for a year. And in the end, Dora was very, very sick. And it was the only thing that we could do, even though we've nursed her for a year. And she was grateful for that. And we had some great times with her. And, you know, the very last day, we, we, um, like a film of that um as if we were doing a video for you guys and it was just it's just for me and paul and you know we looked after her and she had a nap on and put ethan sorry ethan billy used to get so jealous because she had this attention with the nappy and now it's come to him he understands you know he he understands that he has to have a bath afterwards and wash and everything and you know, and, and it breaks my heart. It really does. But I love him so much. I'm not going to just give up on him. And, you know, the, the, at the moment, like, he's a boy, boys. He's not getting any better. He's not getting any worse. I don't know. He's got his due for his checkup 
next the week next week we missed it this week for some reason we completely went out of our heads and we actually went up the vet and apologized but they know we wouldn't have done it if you know it was just i don't know what happened but he's got to check up this week and um and see how he's doing and what the vet thinks he takes his tablets every day he takes his food and mud every day and his heart tablet every day twice a day and his pain relief for his back and you know it's you know people that have that who are pet owners they understand they'll do anything for their pet but we always told by the vet don't let them become not themselves and then once that happens it's not good for them you know let them still be themselves when you say goodbye to them so you know at the moment we're all right he, you can see he's he's He's, he, is, he is what it is with him at the moment. So anyway, we're going to say goodbye to Billy Bum Bum. Say bye. Thank you for listening to me about having my naps on. It's not something to be ashamed of, is it, Billy? You're not ashamed of it, are you? He's like, what's going on? I want to get the cat. You can't get the cat. You've got to know. You've got to get used to the cat. I don't know why you can't. Anyway, he's going. Say bye, everyone. So... Yeah, so there is company. So he's got the brown, um, is that the brown one of these. He's got two of this color and the brown one, which was a set. They come in sets of three, and they're like sixteen to eighteen pounds. And then you've got the there's another one of these ones and a star one. And he's got two of the these ones because they're hanging up downstairs. Um, two of these. And a melon one. A nine, I feel, is enough for if, like, we were having to change you more often, then I'd get another three. But at the moment, nine's enough because by the time I wash it in the morning, it's dry. I wash it straight away because you can't leave it to pingy. Oh. Um, but, like, if this can help anyone, I, I'd be really, you know, if anybody has any questions, uh, you know, want to ask uh, uh, me to answer what it's like to have an incontinent dog, then I'm willing to answer any of your questions. But I remember to say you can get these um, in the small, medium, extra small, medium, large, and extra large. And as I say, as you saw on the one that is um, wet, it goes blue from green to blue so you know exactly what what's you know and it holds quite a bit billy wheeze a lot he drinks a lot of water and he wheezes it out a lot so you know but if if you're if you you know you you don't find this at all um a problem then that's the way to go and i like with the girls like, you could possibly put in this one the incontinence pad, but you'd have to have it like that, and then you've got the hole, put a hole in it for the towel to go through. So you might as well just put a proper nappy, because it probably will get cheaper in that sense. You can get just the cheap nappies. You don't need to have um, the more expensive ones. Um, and then, you know, when, when they're wet... Um, then just wash them so that you know they don't get urine burns or anything, and that's what we do. And he's happy. He is well. He's here now. Look, I don't know if you can see him. Where is he? Billy, Billy, Billy Bum Bum. Hey, Bill. Oh, sorry guys. Here he is. Look, see, he's licking his feet. He's decided today over the last couple of days he wants to lick his feet, so that's what he's doing. But yeah, so if you um, find this interesting and um I, it helps in any way that people have any questions about these nappies for dogs um let me know and i just hope that it, it does answer some questions that people might have um thank you for watching if you did enjoy this video and if there's anything else like that you'd want me to talk about um please let me know in the comments down below and as I say, if you enjoyed this video because it was interesting about something interesting, please give me a pause up. And if you didn't like it, then give me a pause down. That's fine too. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I don't just do 
this sort of thing i generally do unboxings and makeup and all different things really it did start off a beauty uh channel but it's kind of digressed a little bit to get a bit more alternative and i still do a bit of makeup but um yeah this is my if you um would like to subscribe that would be fantastic and yeah so thanks so much for watching and always remember it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't until next time on pink poodle 2 thank you for watching bye guys bye